Okay, so E3 or Steam sales? Um, let's do Steam sales and then, because E3 was going to be a big... Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you may have noticed that I have disappeared from the camera, and also that there is a Steam sale going on at the same time as the GOG sale, and also probably some Humble Bundle sales. So there's a lot of sales going on at the moment while E3 is going to remind people that there's no games coming out this week, so they should just buy games that already have. Um, so it's about the same as usual. I think by this point everyone's almost starting to just own every game ever made on Steam. And there's a neat little yeah. game that they built for it. I don't know if any of you guys have played that. I have. Have a little spin. How's that? Um, I have no more money in my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty normal. Um, I've only bought one game um, this 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 year because I've still got something like 120 games on my Steam library that I need to play. Um, Chris is like what 300. I'm yeah, I'm holding back because everything I want. Chris, you've been holding back for three years. <laughs> no, I haven't. No, I haven't. <laughs> you, you haven't been Maybe playing. One or two. But um, <laughs> like any better. Basically, everything that I really really want to play like right now I have. So everything else I can wait. I can wait till next year and then okay. buy it all for ten pounds. Sure. Good Steam. Um, <laughs> yeah. A... So. Yeah. Go on. No, I was just gonna say the problem with Steam sales is you end up buying all the games that you want, and then you don't end up play. You end up playing like one or two of them, maybe three yeah, in uh, like. Yeah. And then you have another Steam sale three months later. Um, in like winter, in Christmas time, uh, or like not three months, say five months later. So by that time, you've only played three of those games, but then you buy another ten games. Yeah, there's too many games I bought just... like cheap, and then they get even cheaper, and I still haven't played them. And I'm like, well, well, yeah, what's the point? Like, I I own like something like three hundred pounds worth of of games which I've played, and I bought them for probably about thirty because <laughs> I buy them for like one pound twenty each. So, uh, yeah, th things about the Steam sale, apart from the general don't buy anything. Yeah, please. Um, <laughs> no, buy, buy, buy what you want. But the general sort of rules of the Steam sale are don't buy anything until the last day. Yep. Because that's when they have the encore. And also, you don't know when a game that you want is going to go further down because it might be a featured game, mm -hmm. which is kind of the uh, thing about the Steam sale because they only have a different set every, you know, every day. Um, and also, a good thing to remember about the Steam sale is that if a game is on sale, then that means every other game in the series is also on sale at the same time, yeah. which they don't advertise in the feature. They just advertise like the main game that they want to advertise. So, and a lot of the time, that those games are either better or a better deal than yeah. you know the game that's actually being featured. Sort of like so. if if you have Assassin's Assassin's Creed Brotherhood or Assassin's Creed Black Flag, say, which is on sale for seventy five percent, the chances are, or not chances are, in, it, it, it's it's like very 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 likely that all the rest of the Assassin's Creeds are going for twenty five percent or up, possibly fifty percent. Yeah. Um, the newer ones will probably be like twenty five percent or something, but uh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. As it, as in like, bro as in like Brotherhood and all those will be like seventy five percent, but then like you'll have the new one for like ten percent off or something or twenty or twenty five percent off or something. So, but yeah, definitely check the the rest of the franchises because they will probably have you know if like if you buy Cities XL. Um, you know, then the other the sixty-six XL will probably go for like a pound, and City Skyline will probably go yeah, for like two pounds. So you know, you, you yeah, fucking bastards. So um, also look around because there's a lot of games discounted that don't show up in the anything, and they're all well worth it. And a lot of them are going for like you know nothing. They're just not being advertised as heavily. So sort of, you know, dig in, dig into your indies, dig into recommended lists. There's a lot of gems hidden that were there that are well worth playing. Yeah. And yeah, um, that's all I've got to say about the Steam sale. It's another Steam sale. Yeah, I mean, there's one, there's one small thing that came up about the Steam sale was one uh, company 
Uh, I don't even remember the name. It's, it's a very obscure. small, yeah, very obscure game. They basically they've made a free to play flight simulation fighter game. Uh, they had a dogfight DLC pack that they that basically the the whole um, I guess headline was that um, uh, it was a scam on the Steam sale. And basically, what they did because it's a free to play game, they charge for DLC. The DLC goes for nineteen ninety nine normally. But because the Steam sale was taking a huge percentage off, and obviously it's a free-to-play game, so they wanted to retain the amount of money that they're going to make, uh, they increased the price to twenty seven ninety nine before the Steam sale. So when the Steam sale went on, it went down to twenty ninety nine, which was a dollar more than it originally was. And so everyone, there was a massive hoo-ha about it. Loads of people were just like, you know, oh, these people, they're so bad. They All they want is money, blah, blah, blah. This is a small development team with a free-to-play game that they're trying to retain some revenue. Uh, anyway, the DLC got taken down. Game got taken down from Steam. I don't think it was right, personally. I think people were just over-exaggerating. It was a dollar. You know, on a free to play game, I need to keep on respond. Need to keep on reminding people that it was a dollar on a free to play game. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, but that was the scam on the Steam sale, as if it's never happened before or in other. You know, the DFS sale, which is forever in the UK. Um, yeah. <laughs> so that. Oh, so that's okay. the Steam sales. Yeah. I thought you were going to go with the other story that was the Grand Theft Auto. There. Yeah. I, so, well, I, I was going to on about an obscure like. Oh, I thought you were going to talk. I thought about... you were being facetious. Oh, I thought you were going to talk about. <laughs> oh, I thought you were. No, no, no. I thought you were going to talk about. I thought you were going to go on about Grand Theft Auto. So I thought okay, I'll talk well, about the I small. Can. I could. Well, I was going to talk about the small one first. Okay. So in in much worse news from another obscure developer called Rockstar uh. Games. Um, <laughs> there we go. Um, so yeah, they've been they come under fire because in the first day of the Steam sale, they had a Grand Theft Auto. Um, franchise sale where they had Grand Theft Auto 5 25% off. The problem was they packed in a possibly non refundable in game cash card that brought up the price to £1 below the actual full pr- price of the game. That couldn't be removed from the deal initially. And that was also bundled into bundles that included Grand Theft Auto or the franchise, including 5. Wait, what? So, I, don't, I, don't get, I don't get what you're saying. What? So, yeah. rocks. <laughs> I didn't get any of the, but I didn't actually understand what you're saying. So, so they bundled in. Yeah. Just explain it again. You read the article, right? No. <laughs> okay. Well. Um, okay. So, the first day. Yeah. The GTA franchise sale. Yeah. Like said. Yep. And they said GTA Five was twenty five percent off. Yep. But it's bundled with a non refundable in game cash card. Yeah. DLC. Yeah. That brings the price back up from 25% off to £1 off the full okay. game retail price while still advertising itself as 25% off. This also applies to any bundle that includes Grand Theft Auto 5 as part of the whole series. Oh, okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I get it. They're tricking people into thinking they got a sale off, making them buy useless in game money DLC, mm-hmm. and then not letting them potentially refund it. Because they deliberately did it to get around people. Yeah, why not just like that say that it comes thing. with a free cash card? Like that, it's just kind of. But it's not free. It's not free. It's not free. I mean, they're yeah, paying for it. That's because they're adding it back on to the yeah. deal. That's bullshit. Yeah, it's just like why? Why are you doing this? Like even I mean I don't mind them being sneaky and them having like a tick box at the end saying I don't want it. As in, I don't want that cash card. That, yeah. I can understand them just being sneaky and then that's your own goddamn for not fault for not, you know, reading. But if they're just putting it in and you can't do shit about it, as in you're like, and it's non-refundable as well, that is, that, that, that's, that's, um, that's shady, man. That's seriously shady. Um, it yeah. should, it just shouldn't be advertised as 25% off if it's... I'm from such a big Not company. Bad. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. The only the only game I've bought was not like recently on Steam was mm-hmm. not in the Steam sale, and that is Duck Game by Yeah, uh, it only came Swift out. Games. Yeah. Yeah. And my God, that game is fun. 
<laughs> I recommend everyone get it. Duck game. Yeah. Okay. Buy Adult Swim games. They recently released a four pack that you can get on Steam. Yeah, I saw that. Mm-hmm. Which is pretty cool. If you have four friends or three friends.